quadratic equations always contain at least one variable raised to the second power. For example, x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 5. Solving a quadratic equation first involves moving all of the terms to one side of the equation so that your equation is set equal to 0. Next, you're going to factor the expanded equation into binomials. This is basically reversing the FOIL process. Once you've done that, you're going to set each expression equal to 0 and then solve for the variable. Now let's take a look at an example so that we can see how to solve a quadratic equation for x. Our example reads, if x squared minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 3, what is x? Our first step is to set that quadratic equation equal to 0. We'll do that by subtracting 3 from both sides, giving us x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now that we have the quadratic equation set equal to 0, we're going to reverse FOIL the equation, which means that we're going to break it down into the two binomials that, when multiplied together, give us the quadratic equation that we started with. We'll do so by breaking down each term. Start with the first term, x squared. What multiplied with what will give us x squared? The answer to that is going to be x times x. That's going to be the first term in both of your binomials. Now we're going to move on to the last term. Our last term is 2. So ask yourself, what factors of 2, when multiplied together, equal 2? We only have one set of factors to choose from, so those are going to be the second terms in both of your binomials, 2 and 1. Now in order to determine the sign of your binomials, we need to take into account both the last term and the middle term. The last term is a positive 2 which means that both of the signs need to be the same, either both positive or both negative. If we move on to look at the middle term, we see that the middle term is negative. That tells us that both of the signs need to be negative. So our binomial reads the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 equals 0. Our final step is to set each one of those binomials equal to 0, and then solve for x. So we have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 1 is equal to 0. In the first equation, add 2 to both sides to give you the solution of x equals 2. In the second equation, add a 1 to both sides of the equation to give you a solution of x equals 1.